We went to one of the largest iPhone screen factories in China to show you what it's like and to see if a Chinese replacement is really as poor quality as some might say. We'll also see what robots are needed to manufacture a screen and by the end you'll see how many screens were made while you watched this video. Let's see how the screens are made. The different processes of screen manufacturing can be sorted into four parts and a similar pattern is always followed. Assembly, manual work, refinement and check. Before any Entering the factory's production lines, you're required to wear a suit like this. It was a little small for us. Another requirement is to leave your phone outside, and we're really grateful that they allowed us to record all of this content. The last thing you need to do to see the production line is to enter these hermetically sealed rooms that remove any dust that may be on you because that could damage the screens. Now, on to the fun part. During the first 10 steps, attention is paid to the circuitry. The first thing that happens is that the LCD plasma is clean and then the chip that controls the screen is attached to the LCD. This process is called COG or chip on glass. Yeah, there's not much to explain. Something that caught our attention is that there is a check every now and then. For example, in the first 10 steps alone, five are strictly for checking. As an example, in step four, the FOG process is carried out, which means film on glass, in which the FPC is attached to the glass substrate and almost immediately in steps seven and nine, checks are made of the process of the operation, the aesthetics, respectively. All of this gives us good indications and helps us to understand that many factories in China are working to a really high standard of quality, but there's more. After the visual check of the front glass, the famous OCA glue is applied, which is the one that you remove when you want to change only the glass of the screen. But this is not the only glue that's used. For example, in step six, there was a first line of blue glue coating. Of course, all of this is so that no screen ever comes apart as if nothing had happened, not even when they're dropped. From step 13 onwards, most of the steps are focused on perfecting the screen. Things like removing bubbles in step 15 or folding the flex are actions that seem simple and of little importance. But to the workers responsible for carrying them out, they give them a lot of attention because they know that these are really important activities for the screen. Not only for it to work well, but also for it to look aesthetically good. Now, when we've reached step 20, something that really surprised us. There is a test of the semi-finished product. But why is that so surprising? Because this test is carried out even when there are still 18 more steps left to complete the process. All these steps are distributed between machines and humans, and both surprised us equally. First, because the factory's humans really work like machines. They're tireless and each person does a single job routinely and very meticulously ensuring that the quality stands out. From what we saw we can assure you that the first screen they make at the beginning of the day will be to the same high standard as the very last one that comes out. Second the machine. Wow the machines. There's so many of them and they're all designed to do a human's job much faster and easier than a person could. It's scary. For example this robotic arm has a really interesting function, screwing in screws. If you look at a screen, there are several screws on the sides that hold the metal protector to the frame. This robot takes the screws from this little box and screws them into the screen, as another part of the same machine rotates the screen until it's finished. Other machines are not so automated. This one needs someone to press this button so it can do its job, which is to clean the screen of dust residue. We can't tell you how many robots there are, but we can tell you that before the screen you're seeing in this video gets to your hands, it will have passed through many metal hands. When we get to step 31, which is where the frame assembly is done, we notice how quality and efficiency come together. How? What a human can do in one minute, this machine does in five seconds. But this doesn't mean that the quality is sacrificed. As you can immediately see, there's someone checking that everything is perfect. During the final production phase, refinements are made to each screen, such as removing excess glue, aesthetic cleaning, adding plastic, and the like. And not content with how meticulous they've been throughout the process, they still have the last two steps, function testing and aesthetic checking. Only when everything is finished and a screen has been approved can a screen leave the factory. But what do we learn from all of this? Is China synonymous with poor quality? On the contrary. Electronics is an increasingly large and demanding industry, and although there are products that are not particularly good, 
This factory taught us that you can't judge a book by its cover. Of course, even knowing this high level of meticulousness, we still test and check that everything is 100% before we send it to you. When you buy at fourphones.eu, both before leaving China and when it arrives to us. And, well, how many screams are made during the time it took to watch this video?